So a while back I made this, which sits in my cupboard, uh, connected to my TV and acts as my um, my media streaming server. The only thing wrong with this rig as such is that it only has a Q6600. So I've been on the lookout for that and I recently acquired myself this PC here, which has issues, it doesn't boot properly. Um, it keeps making these errors. I've unplugged everything. It boots now, but you can't have anything plugged in. But this one, basically, the only reason I took this was because it has a Q... Let's see if I can get that. It's a Q8300. So I'm going to see if I can get that to run in this. I had some board compatibility issues before. Um... But I should get it to work. Just need to take the cooler off. I had to, to disassemble this. It was sitting here with some glue before. I'll clean this off and uh, see if I can get it to post. Turns out when I originally made this, I didn't take into consideration that the cooler would sit like this and the screw would be over here. And these Alpine 7 coolers, as good as they are, they're a pain in the ass to get on because of the little clips that hooks on that hooks on down here. See if I can get it to just a little clip there that hooks on to these little metal tabs. And we'll see if I can get it back on. If not, I'll have to use a stock cooler. I have a few laying around. Um, shouldn't be that big of an issue, honestly. Okay, so it boots and it's recognized in the BIOS. However, Windows apparently was not very fond of it, so I'm going to try to reinstall Windows and uh, see if I can get it working. This is what it looks like right now. I'm going to try to maybe clear up some cables, uh, maybe get this one prettied up and out of the way or something. These are the extensions I had to make for the, for the HD audio with my uh, custom front panel audio that came from... Uh, came from actually from this computer down here which is just you know to be thrown out but um, I'm gonna try to um, gonna try to reinstall Windows and see if I can get it get it uh, get it up and running again I'll keep you posted okay so a small update there was an issue with the boot USB that I had uh, I want Windows 10 on it obviously Windows 7 is is way outdated um, I have a spare Windows 7 installation USB around though, and I test that on the uh, the computer and it worked. So it's not the computer that's broken, it's simply just the installation files or the USB that wasn't formatted correctly, which is weird because I've used that USB several times already. But um, I'm just waiting for this, it, it's not going to take very long, I just started it a few minutes ago. So um, chucking along. Okay, so I finally got it up and running. It was a bother and a half. I haven't done any cable management at all because I've spent the last three hours trying to figure out why the hell it has been acting like it's been acting. So basically, I found something really peculiar. Um, in the system settings here, it says it's a uh, Q6600, but if you go into, into a hardware monitor, it actually labels it as a Q8300, which is the one that I've got under here. The other one I put back in the other unstable system to, I don't know, sell it as scrap or something, I don't know, but it's up and running now. Um, I installed the speaker again, which is down here um, for error codes while it was booting. I basically had that boot issue that you saw, and the last thing that I did which worked was I swapped this SATA cable from this slot to that slot, and I don't know why, but it worked. So um, now I gotta install this again. I have my heat gun heating up right now. I'm just gonna glue it to the side here, like it was before, to pull heat away from the CPU. Um, I got this thing installed here. The fan controller. So yeah. I'll uh, be back when that's installed, and maybe I'll I'll first come back when it's installed in the um, in the shelving unit. So um, yep. 
All right, so we're back now. I've installed it in my uh, shelving unit here. And uh, it's still, I mean, even Specky notices that it's a, a Q8300 and um, hardware monitor does as well. Um, it's connected to the internet via the cable. The speed is up to par with what everything else is running in the house. Um, now the thing that really, really confuses me is that even under, where is it, device management, even under here, it still thinks it's a Q6600, which is quite peculiar, but um, it's it's definitely running running better than before. Um, I mean, not by a lot, but as you're able to tell, I'm running everything in 4K right now, and the Q6600, which I had in before, was lagging behind, was slow, I don't know if, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's running a lot better, so, um, this system now contains 6 gigs of DDR3, a Q8300, a GT640, I believe, and a 240 gig Samsung um, 840 SSD. So, um, it's pretty good considering that, that I got all this for free and in, in broken computers. So, um, that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little update. Um, on my my zero my zero dollar zero crown no budget media PC slash home entertainment system. So uh, if you want to see more, you know what to do. I'll catch you in the next one.